Welcome back to an Ash Design training video. Today I want to show you how to use our Photoshop image presets to add custom look and feel to your images. Today we're going to be working in Photoshop Elements. I have Photoshop Elements 12 open and I have my file. This is what I downloaded from Ash Design. Uh, it has directions right on the top and then if I, you look in my layers palette I have directions, I have three adjustment layers and then my photo layer. I've also opened the image that I'm going to use. So I have both of these open. From the file that I opened from Ash Design, you can read through these instructions. I'm also going to step through them quick in the video. The very first step is to create the canvas the size that you want. To do that, you go to Image, Resize, Canvas Size. And from here, you would change these. So if I wanted to do an 11 by 14, you just put those in there. Um, I want to do an 8 by 10 today, I would put that in there. If I wanted it to be horizontal, you just make it a 10 by 8. So you just customize those numbers to fit what you're working on. So today we're going to work on an 8 by 10. And you'll just click OK once you're done. Now that I have my canvas size the way I want, the next step is to turn off this direction. So I can just come over here to my layers palette and if I click on this eye, it'll turn off that layer. And so basically I'm starting with just an empty document, which is exactly what we want. Next, I'm going to click on my photo layer because when I drag my image in, I want it to come right above the photo layer. I'll go to my image and then with the selection tool selected, I'll just drag and drop my image into my Photoshop image preset and position that where I want it. And you can see it automatically turns it to a black and white image. And that's because it's already below these adjustment layers in my layers palette. Now from here, I can turn on and off these adjustment layers for a customized look. Right now I have the mid layer on. If I click on the eye, I'm turning that off and you'll see my colored image. And I could turn on the light layer. Likewise, I could turn on the high contrast layer. Or I could try turning on all three to see if that's a look that I'm interested in. I'm going to show you how to customize these layers using your brushes now. I'm going to start with the light layer. I really like the way the roses looked in the light layer, but then it washes everything else out. So the very first thing I'm going to do is grab my paint bucket, and I'm going to make sure I have my light layer selected and my black color selected, and I'm just going to paint the entire layer black. And then you can see in my layers palette how it changed that to black. And now I'm going to paint out the areas that I want to see the light layer. So I'm just going to switch my paint color to white, and I'm going to get my brush, and then you can make adjustments to your brush right down here. Uh, you can change the size of your brush and the opacity of your brush to fit your needs. And then you can also you know, change the mode and different brush settings to find the desired look that you're, you're looking for. So I'm going to use a fairly large soft brush and paint out this area with the roses so that we can see those in more of that light look. Now I'm going to go up into my high contrast area. I'm going to paint with my black brush just to take out some of those high contrast areas and soften it up a little. In this area you can see I kind of over painted so I'm just going to switch back to my white and I can paint that right back in. And use the black and white brushes on the different layers to just fine tune the look and feel you want. And once you're finished you save your file out as a JPEG and you're completely done.